Do you know you have the power to life and death, power to create and destroy, power to make you great in life or to make you become a mediocre, power that will change your circumstances and push you to a new dimension of living. But what really is this power and how do we harness it? Well, if you follow me to the end of this video, you will find that and the Holy Spirit will teach you something that can change your life forever. And also, um, we just hit our first 100 subscribers and I'll be doing a giveaway. So an airtime recharge card code will be somewhere in this video. Video, so watch carefully. Let's get right into the video. Hello brothers and sisters, welcome back. My name is Fulfillment Umbi and this is the Living Flames of Fire. Here in this channel we talk about everything concerning the Christian faith and our main focus is to help you grow spiritually and to take you deeper in the knowledge of Christ. If you are new here or you are not a subscriber, we we'll would love you to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon so you will never miss any of our videos when we release updates. We are working with the title, Handling the Power of Life and Death. Now, what is the power of life and death? Let's go back to the book of Genesis where it all began. When God created man, the first way he could exercise his kingdom authority and his God-given abilities was to speak, naming the animals um, in the garden. Now, let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. So, let's know what really is the power of life and death I've been given to everyone here on earth. Now, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. According to the scripture we just read, you can see that the power of life and death is in our mouth, in our tongue. So we have the power to create and to destroy, the power to bring things to life and the power to put things to death. That's how powerful our tongue can be. But so many people, they doubt this, this, this principle, they doubt this kingdom ministry. So for me, to, I'm going to convince you by running through some points and some things in the scripture so you know how powerful your tongue is, you know how powerful your words are. I want you to know that there's power in your tongue, there's power in your words. Now, before any miracles or signs or water is being done, there have to be proclamation. Before Jesus Christ would heal the sick, raise the dead, and did do so many great miraculous signs, he had to speak first. So there's power in your words. Before Moses would free the people of Israel from the bondage they were in Egypt, um, he had to become the mouthpiece of God. So he had to meet Pharaoh and begin to speak. And do you know that you can bring destruction and ruin upon your life if you keep using negative words? on yourself yes it is very possible the Israelites spent 40 years in the wilderness instead of 11 days because they because of unbelief and unbelief made them to begin to profess negative words upon themselves and that caused them to remain in one place for a very very long time and do you also know that salvation is received through positive confession? Yes, the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, then you are saved. So it is possible for you to go to hell because you refuse to use your mouth to receive the salvation of God. And you know, also know that wisdom is expressed through spoken word. Solomon was great because his wisdom was expressed through his spoken word. So the only way you can know if a man is wise or if a man is foolish is to count the words that come out of his mouth. Out. And do you know also in the Old Testament that a donkey had to talk to save the life of Balaam the prophet from being struck by an angel? That is how powerful your words can be. If a donkey can speak, then why are we underestimating the power of our words? And you should also understand that your result in life is the sum total of the words you use. Yes, yes, your words are very powerful. They can affect your life negatively or positively. If you keep using negative words, then you keep seeing negative results. If you keep using positive words, then you will see positive results. Now the whole Holy Spirit will never use negative word on you. If you are truly led by the Spirit and filled by the Spirit of God, he, the Holy Spirit will never use negative word on you. No matter how many times you sin, no matter how many signs, how many times you fall, no matter how many times you go down, the Holy Spirit will never use negative words on you. Why? Because the Spirit of God is not a spirit of negativity. And the Holy Spirit will only caution you and try to bring you back in alignment with God's will and try to bring you back to the faith. He will never pull you down with negative words. So negative words are not from God. They are from the devil. They are designed to hold you down. They are designed to pull you back. They are designed to keep you in stagnation. They are designed to make you never progress in life. 
I don't know if you have heard about the Masaru Emoto rice experiment. This experiment have proven to us that truly there's power in our tongue. The power of life and death lies in our tongue. Now look at what the man did. He brought three containers and he put rice in three containers and added water. Now at the, at the end of every day, he will come to the first container and speak a positive word like thank you, thank you, you are good, you are great. Now at the second container, he will speak a negative word like you are stupid, you are bad. And the third container, he left it like that. At the end of 30 days, will something amazing happen. The first container, he spilled water. The rice in that container fermented and brought out a very positive and very good fragrance. The second container, he spoke negative words to. The rice in that container decayed and died and was rotting. The, the rice in the third container was also rotting and smelling and the rice died. Now, this is to prove to you that truly, truly, there is power in your tongue. The power of life and death is available to you. So why don't you use it to, why don't you use it to your advantage? Why will you always speak words that will destroy your life, destroy your spirit and destroy your soul? Why don't you take advantage of this, of the, of this power and turn your life around? Now, I'm going to give you um, some steps, some guides that will help you harness this power and use it to your advantage to change your life for the better. Now, this is how you harness the power of life and death. How you can use it to your advantage so that your life will never remain the same. One, you have to speak life instead of death. Yes, stay away from negative words. Stay away from any word that can destroy your life. Stop speaking bad things to yourself. Stop telling yourself, I'm bad. I'm, I'm, I'm the worst person on earth. I don't deserve it. No, keep speaking great things to your life. What God is speaking, what God is saying concerning you is good and it's not evil. So don't allow the enemy to deceive you so you can speak evil things to yourself that can destroy your life. Not only will you speak life instead of death, you have to what, speak the word of God. So you have to what, study the scriptures, know what the scripture is saying so you can know what to say to yourself. So you have to have a knowledge about what the Bible is saying and speak the word of God. There is already power in the word of God. So combining the power of the word of God and the power in your tongue, you will begin to see things change in your life. You will begin to see things turn around for you. You don't have to stop there. You have to speak by faith. If you truly want to see results in your life, if you truly want to, your words to become tangible and become very powerful, you have to speak by faith. Now, the people of the world does not have this advantage, but this advantage will be given to everyone in Christ. If you are in Christ, then you have the power to speak things into reality when you speak by faith. Faith is very powerful. Faith is the foundation of everything in Christianity. And you also have to speak by the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit backing you up. There's nothing impossible that God cannot do. So you also have to speak by the Spirit of God um, by the Spirit of faith, speaking the Word of God. Then you begin to see changes in your life. Also and also you have to eliminate every source of negativity from your life. Stop listening to music that will bring you down. Stop listening to, to things that will, that will kill your self-image and kill your self-esteem. Start, start surrounding yourself with sounds of heaven. Start listening to things that will uplift your life. Listen to messages. Listen to songs that will edify your spirit. Now, I want to ask you a question. How have your words changed your life? What do you think about the power of life and death uh -huh. be given to everybody? So, I want to see your view. So, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if God have ministered to you, I would love you to hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up and share this video to everyone you think will benefit from this video and also there's a video there are some videos in your screen right now that will bless your life so click on it and watch and see god change and transform your life or oh, thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the very next video